good morning. I am Lily Seisano. Today, I am going to perform Eliopold's maneuver to determine the position of the baby and also to determine if the baby is in age. So it is needed that uh, we need to explain our procedures to the client. Fundal grip. Stand at the foot of the woman facing her. Palpate the superior surface of the fundus. Determine the consistency, the shape, and mobility. And determine if the body parts is smooth or if you palpate the round or hard, it is what we call the fetal head and also the bridge. The umbilical grip. Face the woman, hold the left hand stationary on the left side of the uterus while you palpate the right hand on the opposite side of the uterus from top to bottom. Repeat palpation using opposite side. And if you palpate uh, the fetal back, it is needed that the fetal back is smooth, hard, resistant surface. It is uh, the knees or the elbows. The Paulix grip is squeeze the symphysis pubis. The movement is up and down, and it is uh, we can determine if the baby is engaged or it is uh, the fetal head is near at the pelvic. Gently grasp the lower portion of the abdomen just above the symphysis pubis between the thumb and the fingers and try to press the thumb and finger together. Determine any movements and whether the part feels firm, is soft, bridge, firm, hard, or fetal head. Pelvic grip. Place finger one side at a time and palpate uh, the bridge, the fetal head, if it is smooth, hard, or resistant surface. We can determine the heart sounds by the use of stethoscope and auscultation. The normal beats per minute of the fetal heart sound is 120 to 160 beats per minute and it is performed in full minute. At the end of the procedures, we have to teach our client. We have to remind her that she needs to avoid uh, the drugs and alcohol, the cigarette, and too much caffeine, and also her clothing that she needs to avoid uh, the garter uh, clothes with the garter clothes and also uh, her daily activities let us give them a healthy change